Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Urvashi and in today's video I'm going to talk about how you should approach a new UX design project. It's a commonly asked question. I have seen it on my LinkedIn DMs. So I will try to answer this question in this video. I don't know if I have uh, acknowledged this question in my previous video. I, I don't remember it. but. I want to answer this question in this video. I will give you some simple steps that you can follow to approach a new client's project. It's pretty easy. I will keep it simple so that you can understand it better. So first things first, what you have to do is you have, you have had a client meeting and he or she explains you how, what they want from you what are what are they planning so first of all what you have to do is you have to understand their business goals like what they want to achieve with their product what are their goals what problems they want to solve so it's the first thing you have to do you have to understand their business goals and what they want to achieve with their product so it's the first one understanding the business goal then second one is define the problem. Define the problem statement or challenge the client wants to solve with their product. This is the second one. Define the problem statement. Define the pain points of the target users. And basically what you have to do here is you have to define the problem or challenge the client's aiming to solve. So this is the second one. Define the problem then third one is you have to start user research what it means is you have to start conducting user research to gain insights into the target audience through interviews user surveys or maybe uh, talking to them in person so basically it includes conducting user research so that you can gain insights and create user persona to represent different user groups and their needs. This is the third one. After you have understood their business goal, after you have understood the problem statement, what you have to do is you have to conduct user research through user survey interviews and create user personas for different users group with their needs. So this is the third one. Now what you have to do is you have to do competitor analysis. I sometimes uh, search for competitor first and research about them. So you can do it separately. It's pretty uh, simple then when you do it separately you can do competitor analysis separately you can analyze the competitors strengths and weaknesses you can analyze what they have and what they are doing in their product which makes them different from other people from other competitors so just like that you can conduct competitor analysis if there are any competitors out there so it's pretty uh, you can say useful when you do competitor analysis because you will get insight into your competitor and what they are doing different from others okay then you will set clear design objective based on research findings what does it mean is what are the key goals that the design uh, should achieve what are their key goals? What, what problems the design will solve? So maybe there is a problem you want to solve and you want to solve it through the design and uh, you should uh, set the goal about that uh, problem that we have to solve this problem with this particular solution or with this particular feature. So just like that, you have to set the objectives after conducting the competitor analysis. Then what you have to do is you will create information architecture, which is very important if you are creating the wireframes or UI designs, because you will get an idea what will come in different pages and different sub pages. So you have to create information architecture after you have set objectives, after you, after you have set design objectives. 
so that you can create uh, information architecture and define different pages and sub pages inside of your app or a website okay then what you will do is you will start sketching and wireframing it's up to you if you want to create rough sketch of a wireframe or if you want to create digital wireframe but you will do it after creating the information architecture because information architecture uh, uh, plays a important role when we are designing a wireframe because it's a blueprint of a wireframe and how we are going to place different pages in the app and the website okay so you have to create the information architecture then you should jump on to the wireframe and sketching because information architecture make makes it easy for you to create wireframes okay then what you will do is prototyping is other thing you have to create the visual designs of the wireframes like you have submitted your wireframes to the kit to the client and they have approved all the wireframes then what you have to do is you have to start designing the uh, screens but before that what you have to do is you have to create mood boards mood boards what is what is it it's a theme of the app what are the colors what illustration you will use what are the fonts you will use so that just like that you will create a mood board and propose to the client like this is the theme these are the illustration these are the fonts that we are that will be we will be using in your app okay after mood boarding you will create the style guide the colors the actual colors the actual colors you will be using in the app primary secondary neutral and ascent colors and illustrations and photos icons so after creating mood board you will jump on to the style guide you have to be uh, very um, you have to follow these steps in a uh, in a sequence so that you will be able to achieve a good design solution so before designing visual design before designing any ui you have to create mood boards then style guide then you will create whole design system on the file or color style text styles on figma then after that you will start creating the designs because that will be really helpful for you to design ui with those set colors fonts and illustrations okay and then what you will do is you have created ui designs and they are all approved so now you what you have to do is you have to do the usability testing which is very very important if you are designing anything because we have to check if if our product is performing well or not because we have we are designing the product for the users only we have to think about them so you have to check the usability of that product so how you can check that usability you will conduct the usability testing by using the prototypes of that design or you can do the usability testing at the early stage by using the wireframes so so that you will be able to save your time because sometimes if there are problems in your ui designs you have to create it once again so that's a problem so you can do it by using your wireframes as well that will save your time ultimately so after you are doing the usability testing what you will do is you will gather the user feedbacks and you will iterate you will create new wireframes you will create new information architecture then you will create new uis so i will recommend you to do the usability testing with low fidelity wireframes by create by transforming them transforming them into a prototype and doing the usability testing and gathering their feedback so that you will save time and create new wireframes then you will create the uis finally so i will recommend you to do uh, the usability testing with low fidelity wireframes with not much colors or illustrations
that's my opinion because it will save you so much time then when you iterate you will refine the design according to the user's feedback what feedback they have given in the usability testing you will apply those feedbacks to that new design so that you can refine them according to the user's needs then after that there are uh, there comes the step where you will launch the product where you will where you will uh, get your design to, into the development and then it will finally launch the product so that's how you will approach the new client project first was understanding the business goals second was define the problem and third user research conducting the user research then fourth competitor analysis then fifth set design objective sixth information architecture seventh sketching and wireframe then uh, creating design system style guide mood boards then visual design then usability testing then you will iterate and refine the design according to the user's needs then you will collaborate with developers for the development of that design and finally uh, you will launch the product so following these steps you will be able to uh, approach the new client's project easily so i hope uh, this video might be helpful for you and if it help you in some way then do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and do not forget to follow me on instagram and linkedin link is in the description and i will see you all in the next video bye bye